I want to talk to you briefly about commodities in general. They're basically meant to sell to vendors. You can buy commodities from certain vendors, and when you're looking at the item, if the green arrow is pointing down, it means the price is low to buy. Lower than it normally would be, so buy it. If there's a red arrow going up, that's not good, don't buy it, the price is high. I don't know much about that, that's from articles and stuff that I have read huh? from other people as well. However, when you go to a vendor and you go to sell commodities, just like when I said about the buying, you'll notice arrows, double arrows, red down, green up. Well, green up is pretty simple. It means that you're going to get a little bit more than you normally would at MSRP, <laughs> if you will. And if we get a double red arrow going down, you've guessed it, you're going to get a lot less, noticeably less than the retail market value. In an instance here, uncut sapphire is a little bit low, a little bit below retail. But if you go to a different zone, by looking at your map, you do have to zoom out. If you're too zoomed in, you won't see anything. You gotta zoom out a little bit so that you can see the outline of the province, or the zone, rather. And you can see what's in demand. So in the area that I'm at, Batik, Snuff, Spice, Vanilla are high in demand. But if we go all the way over here, look at that uncut sapphire. It's actually the highest in demand. But yet, at this vendor over here, they're not all that interested in it. Speaking of the trade routes and merchants that inhabit them, you can camp out these trade routes and look for possible loot. So if you want casting sand and ivory, maybe keep a look at the trading route in this area. You can look down here. Bronze ingot, cloves, snuff, you get the idea. And then you just plunder innocent merchants for riches. That's pretty much it. And then you could be like, oh, okay, I got a bunch of cloves here, and I got a bunch of ivory and casting sand. Then you kind of zoom out who wants that casting sand. Oh, there's ivory. So a vendor in this area is uh, going to be very much interested in ivory. And then for casting sand, you know, you could just look around and be like, no, no, can't find it, can't find it. And then maybe you just hold on to it. Seems like ivory in a lot of places. So you could just kind of store it and hang on to it. Or you just sell it if you don't give a shit. But yeah, for the most part, I want to say that commodities are meant to be sold. Now, there is something that I have noticed myself. And I'm not too sure on this. I haven't read up on it. But I thought that I would mention it because it's interesting. Sometimes, you're going to get stuff... That is a commodity, but it is like an ammo crate or something like that. And what I've noticed about it that's really interesting is when I go to board a ship, what'll end up happening is my crew will end up shooting people. Let me see if I can uh, show you. Oh, there. I put them in the warehouse so that you would see. So, for example, these commodities that have a blue letter on them. See these commodities. Oh, no, that's not a good example. Never mind. But just, uh, for example, here, a cache of illegally procured weapons to bolster any pirate's arsenal imported by Skurlock to be traded in the region. But I noticed that when I had this on my person or on my ship, like I said, instead of just throwing hooks to board an enemy ship and take their loot that I would shoot at them because I had these firearms. So I just thought that that was interesting. I haven't used the cannon powder, but something tells me, again, exactly. You know where I'm going with this. Last thing that's incredibly important for me to mention before I go. This video should have been a minute long, but I felt like I needed to explain this. Any commodity or item, really, for that matter, that has a symbol at the top left, like it does there, the black and baby blue symbol, that means that those commodities, those items, that food, anything, see, that treasure map, is tied to some kind of side mission or main mission. 
So be mindful when selling or getting rid of said items because you could potentially naturally get more rewards by completing the quest than you would just selling outright the commodity. And that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Again, this is not an in-depth guide. This is not a how to get rich. I just wanted to share that with you because I was a little bit confused. Thumbs, excuse me, thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. It does greatly help. Support the channel with the algorithm, so they say. And if you didn't like the video, well, that's okay. Go ahead, give it a thumbs down, and I'll bend it in half, twist it, bring it off in your ass, and then I'll sell it to the vendor, and I can promise you it won't fetch for much. And if, uh, unless people want to use it for a butt plug. And uh, if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally, that would be great. But if not, trust me, I get it. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.